Watch me go from this to that. Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back. So today I will be making covers for my new computer. This is the best way if you don't want to spend a lot of money. So I'm more on the cheap side and if I can make it, I will make it. I find it easier to create a pattern first and then make. So I decided to just make my own and draw it out on the fabric. Really, I should be using chalk, but uh, a pen will do. Cutting is one of my favourite things. Cutting fabric that is, okay? Cutting fabric. Don't get ridiculous now. <laughs> my husband would always say that to me, honestly. I decided to lay the fabric on the floor just so I know what's there, what I've cut out. And I get confused very easily. I can't lie to you. My husband will tell you in the comments. I get confused so easily. So I have to make sure I know what's what. Side note, how cute is this teddy? So I'm one of those who test before I sew. Trust me, when you're making something really special and you don't do it, it's, you're gonna end up with a disaster. Guys, I can't tell you how many times the thread has popped and it's so fiddly it's the oh, I don't know I can't explain it it's the worst thing ever for me I did invest in better quality thread but it still snapped all I can say is this requires a lot of patience and you just have to Take your time and go with the flow. Finally, I'm done. This kind of took like 10 minutes or so, but I couldn't bore you. So after you re-thread your serger, I urge you to test it on a little piece of fabric. You just want to make sure it's working and the tension is great. Voila, everything looks good. I can't lie to you guys, I got heavy handed with my tension while sewing so right now I'm cutting off extra fabric I need to work on this so right now I'm overlocking the edges um, I don't know if I should have done this before or after I sewed it together but I guess if I'd done it after I would have saved time. What do you think? Are there any sewers in the comments? Or should I say tailor or a dressmaker? Which one? What's the correct name? Okay. 
quick story time. So when I used to sew in school, my teacher always, <laughs> she always told me off because I would take forever to pin the pieces together. And she'll be like, what are you pinning? Pinning takes two minutes. Hurry up. And I just liked it. I just liked pinning. Even here, I'm pinning. I don't know. Is this fun? Oh my god, the corners are so tricky. So some people don't actually pin the corners. When they're sewing, they will just sew without it and use tension. Time for the sewing machine. Time to swap them. One time I made an outfit and I didn't back stitch and it started to come out in random places and then I had to go in afterwards to try and rectify the process. Let me tell you, back stitch and then sew. Please just do it. my corners well corner I should say so now I'm literally just what am I doing ah the bottom okay so <laughs> I'm, just, I'm thinking what am I doing I'm actually hemming um, the end now if you look you're gonna see a small bit and now you're gonna see a thick bit there's ex excess fabric now the reason why is because of my tension so my tension did not add up therefore the cover was left uneven on the inside because i knew it wasn't gonna have an impact on the outcome i just kept going Okay, so now I'm being all fancy with a double stitch, but the reason why is because I wanted to give it a really nice finish. And not only that, I did it wide because there's excess fabric on the inside. So if you rewind the clip a little bit, you will see it. And I just want it to be flat on the inside or flatter. Look, cute. And this is the mess I'm telling you about. <laughs> So the double stitch when uh, you know, well you, you can see for yourself okay 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 so this is the reveal this is the finished look only for the base of my computer though i'm very proud guys i can't even lie i've been taking care of this pc better than I don't know the carpet like every few days I dust it I clean it I blow on it I shouldn't say that should I Oof. at this point I was hoping that it fits because my tension pulling mm, it was not good Look at the close-up. Look at the color. I mean, listen, I'm not gonna lie to you. The fabric I used, I was supposed to use it for a wedding. And my friend, she's Indian, just getting married. And I, I was gonna use this fabric. And I end up wearing something else because I didn't have time to make the dress. So that's why I picked this fabric. Um, and I just said to myself, do you know what? It's the thickest fabric and I just want to keep the dust out 
Um, so yeah, it's not my favourite um, pattern, but it will do. Guys, I'm doing another double stitch in here. So this is for the monitor now. And look, look at that. I, I think that looks really good. I mean, you can, it looks good, okay. Now I'm back to dusting again. Oh, guys, look how I treat the monitor, hmm? Honestly, I was nervous about this fit because the way how I cut this fabric out, so the front is, um, it's not as wide as the back. So the back is kind of like a C shape. So I was thinking, oh, is it gonna work? But it actually works, look at it. It actually fits really, really well. I was proud. Okay guys, this is literally it. That's the monitor and that's the base. I'm gonna make one for the keyboard and a little cute pouch for the mouse because I think it'll be so cute. 